In my previous episode, I was qualified for European Championships, but I am not selected officially by the national team yet. And now I am. Good day, everybody. Welcome back. We are just about 13 days out from the European Champs 200 meter heats. And I am here in Yesheim to run my final 200 competition before the European Champs. Let's go and head out to the track. So I was walking through here about a year ago, probably saying something like My legs are not feeling too bad, just a tiny tiny little bit of stiffness And then, I ran a PB <laughs> Since we are 13 days out from the European Champs, this will in a way be my final 200 meter test My goal for the European Champs is to at least make the semi-final, I'm hoping to run a personal best So I'll start off today with a test race here by myself And then later tonight I'm running the 200 meter competition here in Yesheim which will act as the semi-finals for uh, the European Champs. So for short, today's session will be 2 times 200 with 7 hours rest. So I'm warmed up and ready to run my 200 meter test race. After about 40, 40, 50 meters, I felt something in my hamstring, but before I could even react, it was gone, so then I was a little bit scared. I was about to stop, but it was gone, so I just finished the run really relaxed and easy. I didn't really push at all, I felt, but it was 21.37, so I can go a lot faster. So I'll go back to the hotel, relax, and uh, we'll see tonight. I'll do a nice and long warm-up then as well. I'll feel if my legs are okay. I, th I think it's no problem. I think it was just because I had to move the free laps around a lot because of the wind turning around. So let's see how it feels tonight. Set a countdown for five minutes and 40 minutes. Okay, guys. I've been relaxing for quite a couple of hours now. I had a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling in my left hamstring, but it went away right away and uh, it didn't feel bad after and it's still feeling good. So if I was feeling anything, I would drop the race, but I think it's going to be all right. So I'll catch you guys at the track.
So 20.89 into a minus 1.6 headwind on the straightaway. We had a little bit of tailwind in the band, but not so great conditions for the final 120 meters. Really happy with the race and my execution. Felt nice and relaxed and I had a great finish. Would have been nice to have some tailwind in that race. So the following day, I just relaxed before running the 100 meter the day after that. Here is the 100 meter heat. I had a really good start before I started relaxing. My transition was not that good, but I just kept relaxing and I ended up with a 10.62 time. Now for the final, I'm hoping for an even better start. I'll push more through the transition and hoping for a nice and relaxed finish. I passed through the 60 meter line at about 6.78. Had a strong finish and ended up with a nice 10.45 season best, a tenth faster than I've ran earlier this season and just six hundredths of a second behind my personal best. Now we're just 10 days away from the European Championships, really looking forward to it. Please subscribe if you want to see the rest of my preparations for the championship. Thank you so much for watching and an extra big thank you to the channel members who helped me support this channel and keep this vlog going. Feel free to become a member if you want a bigger insight into my training and also a five week basic sprint training program based on my sprint training. I'll also update more about the European Championships on the members discord. I hope you enjoyed the video and either way I'll catch you guys another day. Peace.